Hi everyone, in this quick video I want to talk to you about the use of for loops in Python lists. For loops are an excellent way to work through each index in a list and either perform an action on each index or first check a condition and then perform an action. So before we begin, let's do up a quick list with our company's employees. Now, let's say we want to go through our list and print that all of our employees are awesome. To do this, we will use a for loop. So to initiate the for loop, we type for and then some temporary variable name, which we will call employee. This is what Python will temporarily store the index value in as it goes through each loop. Therefore, each loop, it will take on the next index's value. Then to finish the for loop, we type the list that we want to loop through into colon. Now, if we indent the following lines. This part is very important. And we just type the code that we want to apply to each item in the list. Since we said that we want to print all of our employees are awesome, let's apply an F statement and do that. Now, we can see that all of our employees know that they are awesome. It is important to recognize what Python is doing during this for loop. Python will first begin at the zeroth index, and since there is no conditional statement, take its value, therefore employee is now equal to mark, and apply that mark value to our subsequent F statement that calls for the employee variable, which we said is mark. Once this print statement is completed, Python will move to the next index position and repeat the process. What if we only wanted to recognize Merck's hard work and give him employee of the month? Well, we could accomplish this by adding a conditional statement at the start of our for loop. A conditional statement will use a Boolean statement to return a Boolean value, which means that we will only ever get true or false back. This is accomplished through adding an if statement nested inside the for loop. Just please note the indentation I have used here as it is very important. If your for loops or if statements are not properly indented, you will likely get an index error. Although, since conditional tests are case sensitive, we can add a lower method to ensure that no matter what capitalization was used within the list, we can still recognize the name mark no problem. So if our employee variable ever equals mark, then we will print that they are the employee of the month. Otherwise, we can say that the employee is not the employee of the month. There are tons of ways you can use this looping through lists, particularly with conditional statements. Not only can you use things like greater than, less than, or equal to, etc., you can also add an exclamation mark in front of the equal sign, which means not equal to. Also, you can check if an item isn't a list just by using the following Boolean expression. I hope this video aided your understanding of how looping through lists in Python works and how amazingly useful they can be. Thank you for checking out this video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe to support the channel. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.